Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ryan, and today we got something a little different. We got the Rec Pro on the right, we got the Yeti on the left, and today we've done a special coating, and it's a DIY. You can pick these cans up for about five bucks locally, Walmart, Lowe's, most home improvement stores, and uh, best of yet, it's not permanent. And I want to do this video because I like custom stuff. I don't like to be the same as everybody else. But I don't like to do permanent um, modifications anyway. With this being said, today, both of these cups have been plasti dipped. And we've all heard the term hydro dip, and it's a little different where they actually take the cup, dip it into a film that's laid across a sheet of water. Okay, and then you've seen all the color cups that's been uh, powder coated, and that's permanent also. I've done a polished one. There's been other polished ones also. Um, so yeah, this is a little different. This is what the Plasti Dip cans look like right here. You can pick these up at Walmart. Like I said, Lowe's, wherever, they're about five bucks a can. One can will do one cup probably four or five different times. All right. This can here is glossifier. This right here will make it shine. If you do the uh, anything with plastic dip and you do not spray uh, glossifier on it, it's going to give it a really like a matte finish. And you can see here in this Yeti here where you can see my reflection. Okay. So there you go. On this cup, I actually peeled the bottom off. Now when you use a plastic dip, you do not have to sand the cup before you go and uh, spray it on there. Just want to give it a good wash and dry it off fully and spray one light coat, the second coat kind of medium, the third coat kind of heavy. But do take your time. This will run, okay? This is very, very tough. It can be dropped. Here's the Rec Pro. We did some reviews on the Rec Pro and I left the bottom on this cup here. Okay, so the whole cup is white now. Only thing I've done is I'll take the lid off and I flip the cup upside down on the bench and I'll spray it. All right, so what we'd like to do before we shoot plastic dip on anything, after we take the cup and wash it and dry it off, we'd like to take a, a bowl, fill it up with water, stick it in the microwave for about two, two and a half minutes, and we stick the can inside the bowl once the bowl has came out of the microwave and we put it on the countertop. What this does is the warm water helps the plastic dip on the inside uh, spray better out the tip if you spray it with the uh, can that's cold or room temperature usually you get like a splatter effect and this just helps it give you a nice uh, clean misty spray um, also once you're done uh, spraying it just let it dry for a few minutes so you've got your, your cup and it's been colored for a few weeks or a month or whatever and you want to change colors well Two ways you can do this. You can uh, pull the dip all the way back off the cup, or you can spray over it. So I'm gonna just show you how to we pull the dip off of here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I might just undip this cup all the way here. I'm gonna take a key, because that's the only thing I got on me right now. I gotta get in there good. You see how I gotta get the dip started to peel off here. And I always like to do uh, my cups dipped except leave the bottom alone. So we're going to go ahead and pull this white off of here. And it's almost like a balloon consistency. Yeah, I'm pulling it apart there. That's tough stuff. So see when I'm pulling this off, it's not gonna scratch real easily. Okay, a lot of people plastic dip things on their cars, projects, some stuff in the house. Um, it was made for like tool handles, so you can, it actually came in liquid form at one time, or you could just dip the tool handle into it and give it a new handle. Okay. And as you can tell, this Rec Pro here, Goodness gracious. There you go. Well, what was once white is now back to its factory original color. And it took 
probably be about five minutes to actually plastic dip this cup. And here's the plastic dip, like we can say this. So you can tell it's pretty strong. So I appreciate you watching. If uh, this interests you, go to your local hardware store or get on the internet and uh, order some plastic dip. Uh, they come in all different kinds of colors. They also come in color changing colors, different um, different color configurations, and um, you don't have to spray anything. Just one color, you can spray it one color, and then um, throw flake on there, whatever you want to do. You can customize it by yourself or whatever. And uh, if you don't like it, you can peel it off and do it again later. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's perfectly fine to wash this. Okay and um, when you touch it it's kind of got like a little rubbery feel it's just a rubber paint that's all it is that's about it y'all have a good day